Hi, in this video we're going to install Node.js in Yarn. To do any sort of front-end development these days, you definitely need Node. Um, you, it is used on the server to run um, Express.js, uh, many, many things. But on the, um, the front end, it is used to run package managers, basically which takes all your beautiful TypeScript, JavaScript, um, polyfills, libraries, and packages them all up into a nice bundle for browsers to ingest. All right, off to our, our trusty homebrew package manager. Brew install node. If you do not have brew installed, check out my earlier video, and you will have done yourself a great favor. Now, to be honest, this is the first time I'm ever installing Node.js in Yarn through Brew, so you're getting the initial view as I am. I used to install it through. Uh, I would add the package, or uh, sorry, the uh, the server hosted by like NodeSource.com or someone, and install the packages from there. But let's go Brew all the way. I'm gonna pause and we're gonna do a rough cut. All right, we have Node.js. Let's try it. Yeah, there it is. We're not going to do anything fun with it today. Well, maybe you can, but in the next video we will. Yarn is an alternative to NPM, which is the package manager that is shipped with Node.js. So wherever you see NPM commands, um, normally, well, I use Yarn, so I substitute. All right, let's try this out. Core pack. I've never heard of this, but apparently it is now shipped with Node.js. Let's try it out. Nope. So we did run into a problem. Let's try this then. I'm guessing we have a version less than 16.10 installed through Brew. It may be an LTS release, it may not be. Now, we do have core pack installed. Let's try core pack prepare yarn at stable dash dash activate. I think it worked. Yes, we have yarn. Node, yarn, all good. Thanks for watching.